Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat, my name is Barry and today we're looking back in our little time machines, we're getting in them, we're flying all the way back to 1997, March. March 1997, we're going to have a look at the Monday Night Wars, the two pay-per-views that they had between WCW and WWF at that time and see how they are. Before we get into the show guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell because we're on the road to 300 subs and I can't wait to hit that. <laughs> so... Share it to everybody, put it on every social media you've got, your friends, your family, aunties, uncles, cats, dogs, set them up with whatever, and let's hit 300 subs as soon as possible. Yeah, so let's get into it. I'm going to roll the intro, and I'll be back with you in like 11 seconds. Cool, guys. So, March 1997. What a fantastic wee month. I'm not going to lie. I, I enjoyed the majority of the matches here. Um, WCW, no so much. WWF, definitely. So, what I'm going to do is on the screen here, you're going to have the kind of the, the shows that have been for WWF. Uh, for, for Raw, the things that we've, we've saw, the ones that we've kind of seen, as you can see just now. Um, There's a few good matches on them uh, that you've got your... On Raw, the, the things that I really liked, you had your ECW stuff that was still there, you had the Triple A, um, the Mexican wrestling kind of stuff that was on it as well, which was fun. There was Hart and Austin at WrestleMania was obviously my match of the month, but this was um, for the best match in WWF. But on the Raw side, you did have Triple H versus uh, Bret Hart, um, followed by Maya Veer versus Vader, which was always one of my favourite openings to our Raw. The very, the very first Raw on March 1997 of that month, the first one of that month, um, was those two matches, and I, I loved them. They're not the best, but I do like them. Um, I also like Taker and Sid at the Mania as well. But the whole story between Austin Hart, Taker, Sid, kind of getting involved at this point, was pretty pretty fun. Um, and the same as Maya, have you ever seen Rock at his younger stage here? Is fantastic as well. Like I said, I've just ran the wee, the wee thing there for you guys. So, Raw, I'm going to give it a 2.5 over the month. It was fun. There were some matches that didn't really make sense. I didn't really care. Like the AAA stuff, it didn't really seem like it mattered. And the ECW stuff, you knew it was just there kind of as a fly off. But it was fun to see those ECW guys there. Hart going against people like... Triple H, Maya Veer and stuff over this month. Austin is insane because Triple H, Rock and Austin go on to become the biggest stars in wrestling history. But uh, yeah, so let's look at WCW. Time again, I'll have it up uh, while I'm talking about it. <coughs> so, as always, the NWO stuff here was really the stuff that really mattered. Though nothing outside of that was fantastic. Um... Yeah, the NWO stuff was was good. What I started to notice this month as well is a lot of the matches week to week from last month are in the same. But like Dean Malenko always kind of has the same time slot for a match. Do you know what I mean? Same as Chris Jericho, Rey Mysterio came very repetitive. But the month overall, and also before I get into this, guys, the Nitro. One of my favourite Nitro setups ever is in this one. And that's when you've got Nitro in the, the middle of the swimming pool. I love that setup. I love to see when it's something different. Like you had the um in the short and mall one, you had in the middle of the swimming pool, the bash at the beach that was at or beach bash, I think it was bash at the beach that was at the actual beach, um the Road Wild one. I love when things are in different kind of places. I think it's just breaks up that arena setting that us as wrestling fans are always used to, but um, overall, NWO stuff was fantastic. I'm going to give it a two stars, so it's up from last month because we did have great matches with Malenko, Rey Mysterio, Guerrero. Malenko and Eddie Guerrero at uh, the pay per view is probably my favourite WCW match over this time. Um, but if we're comparing Malenko and Eddie Guerrero against Austin Hart, I don't know who I would pick on that because it's a fin the two of them are fantastic. Now, heading into the pay-per-views, first of all, we'll start with WrestleMania 13, which should be up on the screen here. WrestleMania 13 is the clear winner of pay-per-views here. Um, I love Austin Bret Hart. I think it's a fantastic match. I think it's one of the best matches in WrestleMania history. I 
I also love um, Sid against Undertaker. I think that is a fantastic match as well. And there's a few other wee matches in there that are kind of hidden gems, do you know what I mean? But WrestleMania 13 probably won this pay-per-view for me. Over at WCW, we had Uncensored. Now, Malenko Guerrero was fantastic. And unfortunately, it kind of drooped throughout the show. Now, there is good matches there. But there could have been better ones till we get to the main event, which just seemed like a clusterfuck anyway when you've got Team WCW versus Team Piper versus Team NWO. It was just, let's just put all these guys in this bit. Seemed weird, but aye. Malenko Guerrero on this pay-per-view is fantastic. And there was a, like I said, there was a few others. There wasn't a, It wasn't a, like still the show others. So you can see you've got like Psychosis Ultimo Dragon, which was a pretty good match as well. Mortis Galicia. Buff Bagwell, Scotty Riggs, Harlem Heat, Public Enemy, it's never really my favourite one, Mysterio versus Daikia, which was okay, and you've got that, so Malenko Guerrero really does save it there, but going back to the WrestleMania, the four-way tag at the start was just, mm, um, Rocky Maivia versus Sultan, again was okay, Triple H versus Goldust is one that I like, Vader Mankind versus Owen and Bulldog, one that I like, Nation versus LOD and Johnson, I never really liked this one, and Undertaker vs. Sid is a fantastic one. But it was an okay, okay month overall. I enjoyed this month of wrestling, I thought it was fun. Um, I thought there was a lot of stuff in it that was enjoyable matches, storylines getting a little bit better, and I think this is just kind of the, when we're starting to get the coming up more in wrestling, we're close to the fucking, the boiling hot peak that we get to, but we're getting there, um, and I'm really excited to get into that. This was a good good month for wrestling, and it was a pleasure to sit and watch it. It really, really was. Like your Bret Hart's Triple H match, stuff like that. Really, really good pleasure to sit and watch. So that's why the ratings are 2.5 for WWF Raw and 2 stars for WCW Nitro. They're just there for me, and I think Nitro's going to take it in the next couple of days. Anyway, guys, it's a fantastic weekend of wrestling. I don't think the card's going to be fantastic for WrestleMania, but who cares? We're here to watch it. We're going to enjoy it. And I'm going to just have some fun. I'm not going to do any live streams. I will do a live stream for maybe for this week in wrestling. And I might just record it. I'm not sure. I'm really going to just sit down and I'm going to do my reviews uh, the day after. I don't want to do a live stream for Mania in case it's terrible. I don't want to be sitting for three hours bored at my tits. But uh, I, I will do my reviews. You'll get one on Sunday for NXT and WrestleMania. Um, you'll get one on Monday for WrestleMania Night 2. And then Tuesday I'll probably do a summary of everything and how I feel on it and stuff like that like a let's talk about it so hope you enjoyed that guys thanks for being supportive to the channel thanks for dealing with the changes that have been coming to the channel as well um, the guys that reach out to me shout outs I can do for, for ages the guys that I talk to all the time for through this channel as well are fantastic so go support all those guys that you see me sharing shit as well anyway guys enjoy the rest of the day and I'll see you back here tomorrow see you later